Hey beautiful beaters, it's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and I'm back today with both of the Potomac Beads best bead boxes. I have the regular box here and then I have the XL version down here and we're going to do a little compare and contrast. I can't believe it's already been three months but this is their third month of their brand new subscription box. Like I said they have two different options. We're going to delve into the best bead box first and this one's as low as $19.99 a month with free U.S. shipping. The $19.99 price is based on a 12 month subscription but they have all different lengths including just one month if you just want to try it out once for $25.99. They do also offer international shipping that costs $4.99 to all other countries. Before we crack this open, I do want to share a coupon code with you guys. They generously set that up for my viewers, and that will save you 10% off your subscription. The best bead box is still available right now. The XL has sold out for December, but it will be back. You can add your name to the waiting list, and they will notify you when it comes back. All right, so let's open up the best bead box. First of all, this box is awesome, and I reused them. It has a magnetic closure. It would make a great gift box. Here's what it looks like inside. So we have a card on the top that tells us what our theme is this month. It's called Cerulean Calm. The soft crunch of snow underfoot on a clear star-filled night. The gentle lapping of waves on a white sand beach. Wherever hues of blue, cream, and turquoise take you, may you find inner peace with the Cerulean Calm subscription box. So that should set the tone for what we find inside. And we have an organized list of everything that's included in this box, including our pattern, which we'll take a look at in just a moment. I also want to point out that they do have a link where you can go and check out all kinds of video tutorials that they have, which should help you with some of the items in your box. So if you are a subscriber, definitely check out that link and see what is suggested for you to create with your contents. So like I said, you do get a pattern in this box. It's one of the great features of the Potomac Beads Best Bead Box, in my opinion, is you get an actual printed out full color pattern with all of the materials you need, minus your basic essentials, to create this pattern. And not only that, they do have a video tutorial to go along with it. The pattern this month is called the Winter Blues Pendant. Looks gorgeous. Can't wait to try it. Underneath those items, you can see here are our beads and our findings nicely tucked in here with a shredded paper cushion. And just like the boxes, I am going to reuse this for other packing and things like that. So let me set this aside and let's go through the contents of the best bead box one by one. All right, I've got it all organized beside me, some beautiful beads to share with you today. And I counted it up and there are 17 different things plus our pattern to go through in the best box. And I do want to point out that these little stars here indicate that these are the items that will be used in the pattern that's included in the box. So we have a lot to go through. Let's go ahead and get started with the first item, which is a Potomac Crystal Oval 13 by 18 millimeter. And here's that bag. Isn't it brilliant? Also want to point out that I love how they have the bags labeled. That's so helpful because even if you toss or lose that list, you still have the label on the bag itself. So that's gorgeous. Look at the flashes of color that are coming off of this oval stone with that faceting and the metallic backing. Here's a look at the back. Just a little bit rougher than, say, Swarovski quality, but still beautiful. And this is not one of the items that's included for use with that pattern, so this can be used in something else. Next up, we have two bags of Round Duo Minis. I have my first color here in Pastel Petrol, and then my second one is Crystal Lab Full. So these are four millimeter beads with two holes running through the little rounds, and these will be used in our pattern this month. I will go ahead and take a few of these out so you can take a closer look such a gorgeous color. You can see the two holes that run parallel through those round beads. And there's quite a few patterns out there, especially on Potomac, for using these round duos. So this is one of those subscriptions that's great if you are a person who wants to get into bead weaving because of the fact especially that they are including a step-by-step -step pattern and everything you need to go along with it. Here's our fourth bag, which contains a glass cabochon in 18 millimeter size. And there's a look at that up close. Beautiful design inside with the white and the different shades of blue. This is not going to be used in our pattern, so another one of those items you can use for something else. In our next bag, we have this round flower filigree disc. It's a 32 millimeter. Another one of those items you can get really creative with. Because of all the different openings here in the metalwork, you can beat around this. 
use it in embroidery, resin. Really the sky's the limit on something like that. So you can get really creative with this or keep it really simple. It's kind of a thin feeling filigree disc. Here's a look at the back so it's not double sided, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna bend or anything in my hand. I like all the details here, kind of looks like rope and some little hearts here, kind of in a little wreath shape. Our next bag contains some Miyuki Silver Lined Aqua seed beads. They're really tiny, 15 O's. I'm always glad to add additional colors of those to my collection, and this happens to be one of the ones that will be used in the pattern included in the box this month. And based on my experience with the past two unboxings, it does seem like your colors may vary just a little bit, so you may get other colors that are just a little bit different than mine, but the actual content should be the same. Here's our next bag, which contains a pewter toggle clasp. It's a very basic, minimalistic design. They always come in handy, and it's nice that they also include some findings in the boxes, too. Speaking of which, our next bag contains a pewter snowflake charm in a 20 millimeter size. And here's what that looks like up close. Basic snowflake charm does have a little opening there in the center. And here's a look at the back. So it's a little bit different on the back than it is the front. I can see this making a great accent on a bracelet as just one example to go with a lot of our icy blue tones going on this month. Our next bag contains this fun shape called Storm Duos. I received mine in the jet with full AB coating. And there's 25 pieces in this bag. Here's a closer look at the ones I received. You can see how these have two holes and that little wavy shape. Kind of looks like the little hurricane symbol you might see on a weather map. And then we have this bag which contains some 80 Miyuki beads. There's five grams in here. The color I received is called Gilt Lined Opal. Nice, very icy color. And that lining gives it a little extra sparkle. Always great to receive different sizes of these seed beads to play with in your bead weaving. And then moving on to another very interesting shape. These are called SO beads and they are two hole. They remind me of super duos a little bit. Let's pop these out and take a closer look. So here's a few of these in my hand. You can see they are round, kind of flat disc shape, but they're pinched in the center. Super duos are just a little bit more elongated for one thing. I like this color combination, it's very metallic, goes from kind of a deep antique bronze to a dark silver or stainless steel type of a finish. And these are brand new to me, so I can't wait to work with something like that. Another reason why I get so excited about this subscription, because I'm one who loves trying out the new shapes and seeing all the endless possibilities. And then we get to our next bag. This one contains some pyramid beads. It does have a kind of a purplish brown look to it, it's quite matte. There's the two holes there that run through the bead. And as you can see, it's called a pyramid bead because it comes to a little point up there. And I think those are kind of fun. And here is our next bag, which contains some pellet beads. There's 15 pieces in this bag. I received mine in a glossy white. And you can see these are a one hole bead and they're in kind of a pinched cylinder shape, pinched at the center with the hole running right through there, through the center. And then we get to our next bag, which contains some six millimeter check faceted rounds. There's 20 pieces inside and mine came in the color white shimmer. I feel like the color palette is even more cohesive this month with all the whites and the blues. And there's a few other things popping in here too, which is nice. These have a gorgeous shimmer on them, just like the name says, a beautiful lustery finish that you can see really as I'm moving them around. Beautiful coating on those. And here's our next bag. I am loving these daggers. Aren't they gorgeous? We'll take them out too, but these are in a blue swirl. And these are the five by 16 millimeter size. You get a nice size handful there with 25 pieces in that bag and they're all just a little bit different depending on how much of the deeper blue is showing up in the daggers that is kind of striped in there along with the lighter blue. I love that combination. Next up we have a bag that contains two of these cotton pearls in a 12 millimeter size and the color is called mint green. These are light as a feather. These are funny little beads. They feel almost as light as styrofoam. It's the weirdest thing. So I had to pause and look these up on Potomac Beads site because I wanted to find out a little bit more about these. It says these are made with compressed cotton and have a pearl coating instead of resin or glass. And that allows the weight of the bead to be much lighter than normal pearls. 
So I can see that being a huge benefit, having lighter weight pearls like this. You can really wear much more around your neck without having to worry about the weight pulling you down because these are so lightweight. And you really wouldn't know how lightweight these are just by looking at them. They really have a beautiful pearl-like coating. And that brings us to our last bag in this box. These are some 9mm check glass rings with a really cool coating on those. There's 10 of those in this bag. You can see that one side of the bead has more of that copper look and then the other has that beautiful purple, blue, magenta, metallic coating. That's gorgeous. Nice large holes on those. So it should be another interesting shape to play with. Not only do we get the 17 bags of items, we also have our pattern with all the materials we need plus more to go along with these. It was really only three things that were starred on the list that are going to be going into this pendant. And on the list too, it says that these are actually hoop earrings. So it looks like they've included enough to make two. So if you wanted to turn those into earrings, you could, or you could make yourself a couple pendants. And from my experience from the past two boxes, they do include more than you need to make the pattern. So you can make that and then even still have some of those same beads that went into the pattern left over to play with. So that was the Potomac Beads Best Bead Box, which is the smaller version. And then I ordered the larger version, the XL, to also share with you to give you a look inside of this and kind of compare and contrast the two together. From what I noticed last month, there is overlap between the two boxes. So don't get too thinking they're going to be completely different you will get everything that is in the base box in the bigger version plus more. It also comes in the same size box with that magnetic closure. So if you get these, definitely hang on to them for storage or gifts or something else. They're great to reuse. So I'm going to move these items out of the way and we'll take a look in the XL box and see how the two compare. All right, so like I said, the XL version is sold out right now for December, but they do have a waiting list. You can add your email address and you'll get emailed once they come back in stock. Of course, that could change depending on when you're watching the video. So let's open this up and we see inside we have our same card here explaining our theme. And we have the same winter blues pendant pattern that we had in the base box. And in our XL box, they come with three patterns. So we have two additional patterns here. Our first one is called Queen Victoria Earrings, and those look stunning. Our second one, these are called Queen Stud Earrings. Another beautiful looking design. These are both, just like the other one, full color, step-by-step -step patterns with diagrams and videos that go along with them. And then inside, you can see we have quite a few more contents here tucked away in our wrapping. So I'm going to take these out and we will get a closer look. All right, so I actually took out all 17 bags of things that were also in the best bead box. You can see we have some slight color differences here, specifically in the seed beads, the round duos, the storm duos, and the check rings, but they're all still kind of coordinated and following that cerulean theme. In addition to this, we also have 13 other bags of things. So that would be a total of 30 bags in the best bead box XL, which by the way, that one's as low as $35.99 with free shipping. Depending on how long you sign up, you can do a one month option for $39.99 or choose a different length subscription. All that information, of course, you can find out on their website and I'll leave the link for that down below. And in addition to those extra 13 bags, we also have three patterns instead of just one, and they do include the materials you need for two of the patterns. So just like the first box, you get the materials for the Winter Blues pendant or earrings, and you also get the materials for that Queen Victoria earrings pattern. So let's take a closer look at some of these additional items that didn't overlap between boxes. All right, the first thing I'm seeing is the silk tassel. It's a 90 millimeter length and what a beautiful color that is. We actually received one of these in the very first Potomac Beads boxes and mine was in bright red and they had included a pattern that included this tassel. I think it was called the lunar pendant. I'm going to keep it in the plastic so it stays nice and fresh. Next, I'm seeing these crystal cylinder beads. These are in a smoky topaz AB. So you can see these little cut cylinders with the little faceting on them and the AB finish, extra sparkly little small beads. And next we have some crisscross cubes. And I think these are the ones with the holes that are off center. Mine are in a beautiful gold and kind of crystal combination. And it looks like there's four grams in here. And there's a close look at that. So yeah, you can see that they have holes that aren't lined up right in the center. They are off center. And these look to be a two hole bead. 
Next up we have some imitation turquoise nuggets. These are really pretty, especially if you already like turquoise. They have the look of turquoise for sure with the veins that spread out throughout the beads in a brown tone and they're all just a little bit different. I like the irregularity of those. And next up we have a bag of carrier beads. These are the XL size and I received mine in the jet hematite color. There's tons of patterns for carrier beads of course, beading around those in all sorts of different configurations. These have two holes as you can see. And then our next bag containing two pieces of Potomac Crystal Rivoli's in an aqua color. And these are a 14 millimeter size. It looks like these will be used in our Queen Victoria earrings pattern. And check out that beautiful sparkling aqua color. Those are gonna make some beautiful post earrings. And I'm excited to do some bead weaving of post earrings. That will be something a little different for me. And then next we have two different bags of seed beads. We have a bag of 11O and we have an additional bag of 15O. So if you're getting the XL box, you're getting two bags of 15Os in different colors. I have this one here in a silver line chartreuse and then a silver line teal. Love these color combinations. And it looks like these two will be going in that earring pattern also. And of course, to make our earrings, we will need some posts and some earring backs. And fortunately, they included bags of both in here. We have 10 of each included. So you can make up to five pair of earrings. And it says that these are in a stainless or surgical steel, so I'm glad they thought of that too. For anyone who has allergies, not to mention they will retain their color. Then we get to these, and it says that these are 10 by 28 millimeter pewter filigree bead caps. And it's safe to say I don't have any bead caps this large. And there they are. So something this big, I would say definitely screams either pendant or decor to me because these are quite large. Imagine the bead that you would have to put in between those 28 millimeter wide bead caps here. They are quite pretty. You can see the detail that is on these looking like little scrolly hearts here. And you can see both the top section and the inside. They feel reasonably thick. Don't feel like they will bend or snap apart in my fingers. Then we get to this bag, which contains two pewter rings in a chain design. I'm a huge fan of these types of rings because they are so versatile. And these even more so with all the holes going around. These are gorgeous when you do brick stitch around them. You can use these in earrings, weave in beads in between. So many different possibilities of things you can do with these. And they are double sided, so they are the same on the front and the back. One of those items to really get you thinking. And last but certainly not least would be our 30th bag in the XL box is this bag of tip beads. These are in a pastel cream, so kind of a buttercream yellow. Another fun and unique shape. You can see these have two holes running parallel along the base and they come to a little squatty point here, a little cone shape. And I'm certain there's plenty of tutorials that include these on Potomac's website and their channel also. So here you go, I brought back everything that would be included in the Best Bead Box XL. And also, of course, we have the three patterns. So like I said, everything you need to make two of the patterns plus more and an additional pattern for you to use at your leisure. So, so many different things to play with on a monthly basis. I was so impressed by this box that even though they were sending me the base box to share with you guys, I went ahead and ordered the extra large because I find it to be very much worth it. And I have so much fun beating along with some of their patterns and sharing those with you on a monthly basis too. I think they did an excellent job also with the theme. Lots of these cool toned aquas, blues, white, silver, a little bit of green here and there, and a few other things sprinkled in. I think this is such a great way to get into bead weaving, but even if you are experienced, somebody like me who has been bead weaving for years, it's still fun to get some projects in the month that are ready to go, you don't really have to think about it. You don't have to think about what material you might be missing, have to place a separate order for it, what colors to put together. I mean, it's just such a great subscription and would make a great gift also. There's a reason these boxes keep selling out. So as I always say, I'm not here to sell you a box, I'm just here to share in the fun of unboxing these with you and give you a close-up look at everything that's included so you can kind of compare and contrast these two boxes and to make the decision for yourself as to whether or not one of these boxes is right for you and your beating and your budget. All those things, you have to decide that for yourself. 
I look forward to coming back and sharing with you soon these three finished projects so you can see some of the things I've been able to create with the beads that they have sent. Feel free to leave me a comment or a question below. Let me know what you think of the Potomac Beads boxes. Or if you are a subscriber, let us know your experience. Like I said, I will leave the link to these boxes down below as well as the coupon code if you want to save 10% off any one of their subscriptions. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. It was so much fun checking out these two boxes. I really feel inspired and ready to go, and I really think that's what they were going for when they created these. So until next time, I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your day, and as always, happy beading. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. For more content like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of my latest videos. You can check out the information section below this video for links to all my social media handles, recommended products, and my shop and blog at orchidnoble.com. Thanks for watching.